What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today is going to be another Wish unboxing video. And if you guys remember the last time that I tried out Wish, it didn't turn out the greatest. The only item that actually came in that was any good to me was my PS4 fan. Everything else, a couple of the items never showed up. Some of the items were broken. So my first time using Wish was not the greatest. So today I decided I'm going to try them again and everything that I ordered from Wish, this time I ordered five more items. Everything I ordered was free. So how it works with Wish when it comes to their free items is the item itself is free, but you have to pay the shipping and the shipping is anywhere from $2 to $6, usually depending on the item. I ordered five items on Wish and I just paid the shipping for them. The items themselves were free. So I do have most of my items in that I did order. Like last time though, two of my items never showed up. They're over a month late and I'm assuming I'm not going to get them like last time. So I am hopefully gonna get a refund on them, but I'm basically gonna be opening up everything else that I received. And we're actually gonna be starting off with this one here. This is the item that I ordered for my last one that never showed up. This one actually arrived two months late. They did honor the refund for me, but we are gonna be opening up today because I did finally get it. So let's open this up and I'll show you what it is. So it actually came in this black box here. It doesn't say anything on it. So at first I didn't know what it was. And for the description on here, it says that it is tweezers. And I know I did not order any tweezers. So I didn't know exactly what it was. So it was the knife that I ordered last time. It's a small little cheap knife. I'm not a fan of it. I think this might have been free on their site or $2 and shipping $2. So it was either $2 it cost me or $4, but I did get a refund on it because it never showed up. And it actually showed up two months after I ordered it. So it was two months late. So it's not the greatest of knives. It's really cheap. It's really light. It looks like it would possibly snap. I don't know, I'm not looking, it's not looking too good for me. The one thing I do not like, uh, if you guys seen, I do have a small knife collection and I did show that in a previous video, but this one here has no safety lock. So like most people use this part whenever they're cutting something and if you apply pressure, it just bends the blade. They should have a safety lock on it, if anything. So that's how you know right there, it is pretty cheap. This one here, honestly myself, I'm not too proud to say this is in my knife collection, so I might put this in maybe my toolbox or my tackle box to use. Might be a good idea for that, but anything else, not really. So now I'm gonna be opening up this one here because it goes with my knife that I got from the last one. That was showed up really late. And that is this here. So what it is, it's supposed to be a knife sharpener. You guys can't really tell there. And it's supposed to be a quick little one that you can put in your pocket if you're on the go. Don't really know the reason behind it. But you guys know I have a knife collection, so I thought this might be handy to be able to sharpen my knives. But if you look at it, it looks really cheap. I don't know how good this is going to sharpen any knife. So instead of me using one of my knives that I have in my collection and possibly ruining them, I'm going to be trying to sharpen, even though this one's brand new, it looks sharp. I'm gonna be using it on this one here just because I don't wanna risk damaging one of my good knives that are in my collection. I might as well use this one here, which I might not ever use again. The one thing I do wanna say that I'm not really confident about this is if you can look in here, your blade touches this part here. So if it's in there and you have that much of a gap in between the blade, can't really see, in between the blade and the edge here, I don't think it's gonna get the blade fully sharp. It's gonna miss part of it and I'll show you what I mean here. Just like I thought. So the blades here, this is the full length of the blade up to the end here. And if you put it in, you can only go this far. The blades in the middle, the sharpening part is in the middle of that. So you are missing, I would say, possibly a quarter of an inch. Uh, on your blade that you're gonna be missing now. Usually that doesn't matter, but let's just try this one here and see how it works. Okay. Pretty easy to use. It, you can tell it is missing the end here. Honestly, it's not too bad. It did take a little bit off. You can tell 
where it missed that quarter of an inch here on the blade. You guys can't on camera, but you can tell there's almost a finger's width here that it has missed. So you see how it was before, and now you see where it's left off. Let me try the other side here. The other side is supposed to be a polishing uh, one. So it's not supposed to be as jagged. You know, honestly, you can see a little bit more of the shine in there. Actually, you guys can tell. So before my finger here, everything there is sharp. And when I move that, if I put it up to the light, you can see it's kind of dull there. So it does sharpen the knife. I am actually really surprised that it sharpens my knife. But it does miss part of it at the back. So it doesn't matter so much, but it still does miss a part. So I'm not a huge fan of this. I might not use this for my personal knives. So the next item here I was really excited for. I just don't know how it's going to work out for me because I do have bad luck apparently when it comes to Wish. And that is my watch that I ordered from Wish. So it is supposed to be, it's likely a fake leather band, but it's a leather band. Now I don't have any leather band watches in my collection. This one here looks pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. Quality wise, it looks pretty good. I never expected a, a watch on Wish, let alone a free watch from Wish to be this good of condition. It looks like it's pretty good quality. So I'm basically just going to open this up, try it on and see if it fits first of all, because my wrists are a little bit bigger. So hopefully it does work out for me. Okay, so I have the watch on and honestly, it does fit, I'm surprised, but it doesn't fit well. As you can see here, there is a little bit of room and I can't get it a little bit smaller. I probably could get it a little bit smaller, but because after putting it on, I feel it is a cheaper material. I think by pulling on it, it's going to break. So I had high hopes for this whenever I seen it. It does technically fit my wrist, which I was really surprised it would. But I feel if I pull the strap to make it a little bit tighter to make it actually fit right, it feels like it is thin plastic and it feels like it's going to snap off. So I'm not too excited by this. I don't think it is going to work for me. In fact, I am taking it off right now. I was really excited for this. I thought this is going to be the next watch that I use casually that I just wear out whenever I need to. But after trying it on, I don't think that is possible for me. It just seems a little bit too cheap. It feels like it's going to rip apart in the middle here whenever I try to put it on. Not the greatest quality. It looks really nice. That is a really nice fake cheap watch, but it is not the greatest quality whenever you're trying to wear it. And the last item is this one here. I'm actually going to have to use a tool to make it work, to make it, to make sure it works. So this is the item here. It is a flexible bit for your drill. It's supposed to fit any drill, which that looks like a common size to me. Now I thought for me, this might be useful whenever I'm trying to get in a tight area, I can bend it to whichever way I need and it is supposed to work. So that's what we're gonna go try right now to see if it actually works. Okay, so as you can see, I have my drill in front of me here plugged in. So we're basically gonna try this bit here to see if it actually works. Okay, so this is the bit here. Apparently the end is what's supposed to bit spin. It's not supposed to spin entirely. This is supposed to spin. So we're gonna give it a try here to see if that works. I'm not sure if you can see that here. That is spinning. I'm really impressed by this. Let's see if we can do a 90 degree angle or just spin it right around like that. So if I just let go of this, it will spin like that. But the purpose of it is you're supposed to put this on whatever it needs to be on. By doing that, you can see the end there actually spins. So That's really cool. I'm actually really surprised that this actually works. I'm assuming it's gears or maybe bearings that are all throughout this that actually make it spin. This is definitely something I wanted for my toolbox. So I'm actually in shock right now. I've been looking for one of these for a while. These name brands in the stores, in basically any hardware stores that I see, are anywhere from $15 to $30, depending on the quality that 
the brand says it is. Now, the fact that this was free, I only paid $2 shipping for it, and the fact that it works, and you guys seen that it works, I am highly impressed. But this is awesome, and it's definitely going in my toolbox. Okay, so for my Wish unboxing today, I'm actually a little bit surprised that my flexible drill bit actually worked. I'm really happy for that because it is definitely going in my toolbox. As for everything else I opened up today, they were not worth it. The knife was really cheap. The knife sharpener didn't work the greatest like I wanted it to, so I'm definitely not going to be using the knife sharpener on any of my own personal knives. And the watch looked good, but whenever I put it on, it felt cheap and it felt like it was going to fall apart. And two of my other items never showed up yet again, so today I'm going to be officially saying this will be my last Wish unboxing video because I don't know if it's just me. Some people say they have really good luck with Wish and they get some really good items, very interesting items that actually work and worth money. But for me, it seems like I'm having bad luck and everything I get is crap or I don't get everything I was supposed to. Some stuff is missing, some stuff is broken, some stuff is trash. So to me, it's not worth doing another Wish unboxing video again. So for me, I am going to say this will be my last Wish unboxing video. And out of the two videos I made unboxing stuff that I got from Wish, it's not the greatest stuff I've been receiving. So there's no point in me doing more videos in the future. But I am going to be leaving this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys very soon. Please take care. Peace.